Welcome to Story is Life, my name is Alex Fernandez and in today's episode I am reviewing Pearl. Is it a good movie? Is it worth going to the theater for? Yes, it just depends on who you are. This is a movie, a prequel to X. It's set in 1918 during the Spanish flu pandemic and World War I. This film explores the origins of Pearl, the villainous character from X. Not to be confused with Maxine, who was also played by Mia Goth. When I saw the trailer, I was a little bit confused. I had forgotten that in the movie X, Mia Goth plays, what's her name? Maxine, the porn star, right? But she also plays the old lady, which is Pearl. It's just with makeup, right? And so now she's playing the same character, but young. So she looks like Maxine, but it's not Maxine, it's Pearl. I hope that's not too confusing. Plot comparables. This movie, as I was watching it, reminded me a lot of the movie Carrie. The relationship with Carrie and her mom, the uh, dynamic that they had, that violent, that the back and forth between Carrie and her mom in the movie Carrie reminded me a lot of the back and forth that Pearl had with her mom where it was like a power struggle between them. And in Carrie, Carrie was trapped and Pearl in this movie is also trapped. Well, another movie that, that reminded me of Pearl was Joker. And if you've seen both, you, you'd understand because it's a, it's a story of a villain, how an origin story of, of a villainous person and how they became this. So let's start with the good. There's a lot of good things in this movie. One of them is, I'm gonna use a fancy word here, the juxta juxtapositioning of a horror movie told in a I Love Lucy style, right? So it was very, like, like the titles, the music, the way that it was shot, it was shot so much like a sitcom, like a 1940s sitcom, a comedy. That blended with the horror theme. It was very fun, very unique, very fresh to watch this. The editing, which I never talk about, the editing was really good. The transitions, you know, they use like the sliding transitions and Maybe a lot of you don't, don't care about that kind of stuff, but I thought it was really cool the way they cut. There's a scene that I'm gonna talk about, the hatchet scene of, of the, the murder of their sister-in-law. That scene, the way it was cut, magnified the horror and the gore for me. And it was really good. One of my favorite scenes is the scarecrow scene. If you know, if you've seen this movie, if, if there's one thing you're not gonna forget, it's the scarecrow scene where she rides on top of the scarecrow thinking that imagining the other guy and 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 she's just going off on herself there and it's crazy right because she's nuts and that was a, a scene that would, would be burned in my memory for the rest of my life the other scene that i love murder of her sister-in-law where we just got off of this long monologue which i'm going to talk about now you know she realizes that she's in trouble whatever she gets hatched by the axe, but the way that they cut it, the way that it was edited, that they put the frames together, I've never seen a head chopped off done so well. Usually it's so phony and fake. It's like, you kind of like get it, but you you really, it doesn't impact you. This chopped off the head, like they show the neck and they show like the, the, the neck bleeding out. It was great. It was so well done. Leave me a comment below. What was your favorite scene? What did you think of the sister-in-law murder scene? What did you think of the scarecrow scene? What was your favorite scene? The bad. The story. I compared this to the Joker and really the, the huge difference here is that the Joker had a really good compelling story. Here the story was not compelling and I can't really pinpoint why. Maybe it was the character. You know, we know where she's gonna end and it's not like she was trying to be good. Yeah, I guess she was trying to be good, but I don't know. There was something missing for me with this character arc with her, and I don't, I can't pinpoint what it was. If you guys know what it was, leave me a comment below, but I, I just can't. There's something about her, and it's not her acting. Her acting was fantastic. It's just something about the character she played. I never felt for her, so I guess maybe that's what's bothering me about this movie. That I never really felt anything for her. She was funny at times. She, there was sadness at times, but overall, I really didn't care. Throughout the movie, right, where, where you see, you know, she murders a couple of people, including her parents, 
but there was really no tension and no suspense that led us to those kills, right? So usually you're kind of like foreplaying stuff. And here, I didn't feel that. I didn't feel any tension or any stress or any anxiety. Maybe I had an overdose when I saw the movie Barbarian because I felt tension and, and suspense the entire movie. But here, there was none. There was just no tension, no suspense. It was just this happened and now she's gonna kill you because you did this or she feels this way. I don't know, I felt kind of empty to me. So what did you think of Pearl as a character? What did you think of her character arc? What did you think that it was like the Joker? Did you think that it was better than the Joker? What do you think? Leave me a comment below. Tell me, did you like what they did with this character in this movie? The ugly, the long as hell monologue scene. My God. That scene was so long. I can't believe they made her go through that. They made her memorize all those lines. It was just, oh my God, she just kept going on and on and on and on. I have no idea other than that she said that she had an abortion, right? I don't know what else she said in that. I, I just completely disconnected, ADD, whatever you want to call it. I got on my phone because it was just so, that must have been five minutes. It felt like five minutes. I can't believe how long that monologue went on. I think it was completely unnecessary. Leave me a comment, tell me, other than the, than the abortion, what else was she talking about? Because I, I just stopped paying attention after, after that. So here's my verdict. I can see the niche ex movie fans, you know, friends and family, they get together, they buy both movies and they make it a night. And I could see that happening. I could see a very small audience really enjoying these two films together in, in their house, watching it every year maybe or for Halloween. I could see that, but this is not for a broad audience. This is not for everyone, right? So when I ask, is Pearl a good movie? Yes, but it just depends. Are you that niche fan? Because if you are, this movie is perfect for you. But if you're not that niche fan, then it's not for you. And for that reason, I give this movie a six and a half. It hurts me to do that. The movie was fun. It was interesting. It's a different, fresh way of telling a story. And I love it for that. And it hurts me that I didn't care for the character. I didn't, at the end, I was actually hoping that it was done because that monologue scene just dragged all the energy out of me. So guys, thank you for watching. That's all I got. And remember, story is life.